night at 6.30. Now, 3D printers have become the very latest new technology to be used in our schools and our colleges. But a report from the Health and Safety Executive has raised concerns about the fumes that they give off. So, a Leeds-based company has come up with a solution to protect staff and children that use them in the classroom. Nicola Reese reports she's been to one school that's leading the way. What about this little bit here? They're a key part of science and engineering in our schools. 3D printers like this one at Woodhouse Grove near Bradford fuel creativity and imagination. I think it's really cool because you can make lots of different complex designs and actually then put them into your product. But a new report from the Health and Safety Executive has found that 3D printers produce harmful emissions. It's something that teachers are only just finding out about. Students come and go in and out of lessons are only exposed to it for about an hour, but with being in the same classroom for six, seven hours at a time, there's quite a lot of exposure, and that is worrying. Hopefully, there won't be any long-term effects, but we don't know that yet. Woodhouse Grove is the first school in the country to use a new exposure control cabinet to reduce the potentially toxic fumes. It was invented by Leeds-based Cora 3D, who've spent almost five years working with the HSC to find a safety solution. It is a concern that there's, there's nanoparticles and there's VOCs being produced by uh, the majority of desktop 3D printers. However, now we're confident moving forward that with the Cora SC01 that we can prevent any safety issues and worries within uh, schools and colleges and universities. The cabinet reduces emissions by 97% and is now widely available. But the safety concerns around 3D printers have come as a shock to many schools. You've got to be so careful, especially working in teaching and workshop. We're surrounded by dust and we just need to have as much protection as possible. New safety guidance has now been produced so that schools can continue to use 3D printers in a safe environment. Nicola Rees, BBC Look North, Appley Bridge.